The views and opinions of this show is not necessarily the views and opinions of the National Hockey League, its affiliates, or sponsors. A Shot from the Point contains dark humor and foul language and is intended for mature audiences only. To summarize the previous, this isn't your grandma's radio show, and I'm not Foster Hewitt. Coming at you on demand from the heart of Europe. This is, of course, the most badass hockey podcast in all the known land. This is a shot from the point. Thank you, thank you for coming back, everybody, for another week of Shot the Point. We have a jam-packed show for you today. We've got NHL news, Team of the Week, of course, being the Los Angeles Kings. And, of course, making a back-to-back return, we have Chicago Dead On Dave. Hey, Dave, how you doing, buddy? What's up, hockey fucks? Hey! What's going on? What's going on, buddy? Um, Anything going on on your end? Oh, I'm just having a blast with uh, my Blackhawks kicking ass again. 11-0-3. Ridiculous. 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 Becoming uh, really the scariest team. Even scarier than last week. Much scarier than yeah, last week. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they did drop a game to Anaheim, but, you know. Uh, it didn't shoot out. And shoot out. No regulation, bitches. Jersey Jason Les says that's a, um, that's a skills competition anyway. It doesn't count. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you still get a point though. You still uh, two points if you actually win the shootout. Well, I mean, even losing, you get a point. So. Yeah, if you lose, you get a point either way. Yeah, it is like I think that's the problem with it. Yeah, I mean, I, I just I hate ties, but I'd almost rather. Uh, no, I, I still. Don't. I, I want ten minute overtime. Yeah, I could yeah. live without the shootout if they had a ten minute four and four. I think you'd have more games. But if they have to have the shootout, here's my ultimate thing if they have to have the shootout here's my ultimate thing i don't want ties I, I'm, I'm convinced myself i don't want ties 10 minutes 10 minute over time no points if you lose if you go to the shootout after 10 minutes both teams get the point the uh, winner of the shootout gets two i'm fine with that hmm. you know they play 82 regular season games it really doesn't matter if they go to a shootout or not as long as they don't bring in the playoffs i really don't got a plan i really don't got a plan. i think with that plan they have to work you got you have to shorten the season which you and i are both advocates of anyway yeah, that's never going to happen, though. That's- I, I understand that, but they, they 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 really do need to shorten the season. Yeah, it's it, it, uh, NBA too. NBA. Yeah, too. It, and that was my next point. They're never gonna they're never gonna do that whatsoever. Oh, oh, Canada, our <laughs> home and native land. We have what, what, to give. I'm about to take your uh, your American card away, dude. Uh, it's okay. Be, yo, yeah. Well, guess what? You're gonna like to hear. <laughs> Canada, Canada, Canada. I'm speaking to you directly right now. Canada has been supporting our show statistically more than any other country on earth, including. That's not surprising. Yeah. Well, this is the other surprising part, and this has to do with you know the people that listen to it. You know, our personal friends listen to pay, uh, Facebook, which are mostly American. Americans, yeah. uh, as, as far as the, this is the Yahoo, or excuse me, the uh, YouTube, the YouTube community or the YouTube statistics, retention statistics, Americans average about 10 minutes listen to our show, which isn't terrible, huh. which it now that's not terrible. I mean, uh, for podcasts and what have you, most people flip through radio stations. You want to you want to take a, a guess on what the Canadians do? 57 minutes. You're not as far off as you think. Wow. Oh. 49 minutes. I'm damn close, man. That's a, if this is Price is Right, yeah, I went over, but still, that's close. Let me tell you something. In Canada, we, from the bottom of our hearts, we are absolutely, totally thrilled with the fact that you're you're into the show um, as much as we are and as much work as we put onto it. Please, yeah. please, please let us know that you're out there. Please let us know. Give us feedback. Tell we suck. I mean, at least, you know, we could change something. And it's it's just, it's a huge thrill for me and Dave to know that uh, Canadians are interested in the show and what have you. And Canadians are adding, please subscribe. Please share on Twitter and Facebook. You would be doing us a big favor. And give us feedback. Absolutely. Give us feedback. You know, 
You know, a lot of you guys grew up playing hockey. Um, yeah, but having I, Canadian fans is validation. It to, to me it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it totally is. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fucking around here. I shit. I I I'm I'm like totally thrilled. You know, it, look, they gave us the sport. Um, it it actually when I was a kid, it was taught me more about Canada than I probably would have known otherwise. And uh, well, I, we're we're really proud. So Canada, please, 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 give us feedback. Let us know. Tell us we suck. And if you want to be helpful, tell us why we suck. And yeah. we can continue um, giving you shot from the point action <laughs> at the highest possible entertainment value yeah. level that we can do. Because we uh, we strive to please. But it was really it was a real big thrill when we saw um, Jake's show and even our our show that we did last week. Uh, Canadians listen to most of the show. So that is that's really sweet. Fantastic. Hey, before we get into this week's news, did you see this um this condor? <laughs> <laughs> that's an awesome video. It, we've it? got a local we've got a local like hockey NHL because a lot of more weird things or interesting things happen locally than they had than they happened in uh the NHL this week. There's there's yeah. all uh an absolute riot. Uh, minor league hockey, ECHL, Bakersfield, California, home to the Bakersfield Condors. There is a video where they are doing the national anthem. Bakersfield, California, home of Corn, by the way, the band. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Deal. It's yeah. a big, yeah. uh, big uh, middle class, um, Little big working class community over there in Bakersfield. Knew I had a friend in the army from Bakersfield, and I used to travel through there quite a bit when oh, going from there. Vegas to L.A. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. hard hard nosed community, tough town. I think I took a piss in Bakersfield, and they had this big McDonald's that had a locomotive. It was inside of a like an old train. Yeah, I think I pissed outside of it because I had to pee in the car, and my friend wouldn't let me piss in the car. So I got out of the car barefoot and peed out in front of the McDonald's. That's my Bakersfield story. That's so nice of you. It's exciting, isn't uh, it? Uh, electrifying. Like, <laughs> you wouldn't let me pee in the car. Yeah, that's nice of you. What's the matter with him? Thanks for bringing it up. Hey, man. Hey, Bakersfield. Being there, there is this fantastic video of they bring a corn door out for, I guess, I guess a mascot. and A corn door or a condor? A condor. Con- oh, okay. Condor, yeah, whatever. They bring a condor, corn- which is an extremely large bird, uh, a very, very large bird. And hilarity ensues. Uh, the condor's brought out seemingly like a normal situation. Big Bird sitting there, and he gets away from his trainer. <laughs> instantly hops onto the ice. Obviously, from the look in the condor's face, quite confused by probably his cold feet and not being able to grip the ground. The trainer, <laughs> during the national anthem, goes over, tries to scoop up the condor. Whoop, 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 whoop. He makes his way and decides to. Well, you guys, you, you can tell this guy's never been on the ice before. Tries to kind of sprint back to the mat that's in the middle of center ice, and the absolute guaranteed greatest thing could happen. He slips on the ice, and the condor is loose again. Yeah, he goes crazy. This guy goes down and down hard. And then, down goes trainer. This is the best. So the condor starts, and eventually, somehow ends up in the uh, condor's bench. <laughs> Where these <laughs> these uh, grown professional hockey players scatter, they jump out of there like a fucking grenade was thrown in there, <laughs> and, a, and like a like a mouse ran through a uh, oh stable my God. elements. The, the the big tough condors can't take a condor, and the uh, <laughs> condor walks out the place like he got a uh, you know game misconduct. <laughs> and he gets yeah, out he think that was great. I think I know why it happened. Why is that? Obviously. By the way, you said I don't know what you just did, but you sound ten times better. Really? Yeah, whatever you did before. Yeah, you sounded like I, a I I just angled it a little bit. Yeah, angled my mic. Stick to that. Uh, whatever you are. Stick to my ass. How about that? All right. Uh, <laughs> I think obviously the condor is suffering from CTE. It could be. Well, that's a big that's, fall. That's what has to be happening. It's a big fall. Yeah, and I think you should sue the NHL. Even Absolutely. You know this happened in the ECHL. Sue Roger Goodell too. Why not? He's giving away the point. Yeah, the, the prick just uh, just told told everybody he made thirty million dollars last Who year. Say What's that. He he released it. Yeah, hey, I'm making thirty million dollars while I'm ruining your sport. That you're welcome. Ruining all sports. Well, yeah, we'll get to that some other time. Uh, hey, what do you say we get into the good old NHL news? Yeah, NHL news. NHL news. NHL news of the week. This is the the biggest and best stories of the NHL news. A slow week, wasn't it? 
No, there was a lot of good stuff. Oh. It's mostly like local, like cool stuff, like weird, oh. weird stuff. And I wouldn't say this is just this is hockey news. This is hockey news. Uh, last week, uh, as well, actually two weeks ago, it was published around February fourth on YouTube and spread around, went viral ever since. Um, at least on YouTube, it's got ninety nine thousand views. That would be nice, wouldn't it, Dave? Oh God, I'd take nine views. Okay, what did you just do now? Now you sound like you're a pro. You're a stereo guy now. I just, well, I just, I, I moved it up closer to my mouth. I think that might be the move, Dave. Well, I'm laying down. I'm hurting. I'm in no, pain. No, I know, babe. I'd, I'd, I'd let this to let everybody know, Dave. Um, Dave, Dave is in bad shape from uh, from, <laughs> from injuries. Related to <laughs> and, military service. I've been I've been baking all day with my daughter, and I'm hurting yeah. now, and it's not good times. You get, you get active and and. But I'm a trooper. I'm here. You definitely here. Now don't spit in the microphone so we don't get the pa pa pa. Suck my balls, Mr. Garrison. All right, <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> uh, video is viral at, or video gets uh, uploaded. Um, I guess is at least the at least the copy that I have on the uh, February fourth since went viral. A Russian referee <laughs> throws down with a Russian hockey player. Now I there is not, I've looked up. There's not a lot of information on what league this was. It certainly wasn't the KHL. Uh, it had to be a minor league team. It sounded like like a high school game. At least there was like five people like in the stands, but they were into it. <laughs> they were. <laughs> they, they they were totally good. I don't know how he could. The uh, one of the uh, I, I don't know if he's Russian. Well, he's, I assume he's Russian. He goes, he goes, bumps the referee. Referee goes down pretty hard and kind of um, you know acts like he's hurt. The uh, one of the other uh, players from the opposing bench uh, skate over, I guess, to see. What